Right. We do have this question from Terry uh, in Manitoba. I'd like to know if the treatment for CCSVI will benefit those patients with primary progressive MS or mostly benefit those with relapsing remitting MS. Dr. Murray, what do we know about this so far? Well, the only information we have so far is the brief treatment trial done by Dr. Zamboni. And the benefit there occurred only in those with relapsing remitting MS. And those with the relapsing remitting MS whose veins collapsed again after the procedure was done didn't get any benefit. So they had to have relapsing remitting MS and the veins stayed open. Those with secondary progressive MS those with primary progressive MS at the end of 18 months didn't show any benefit. All right, and we have another question, Ashley. Um, Ashley was exactly relating to that. Is there any speculation whatsoever why there was no um, success or you know, possible uh, effects on patients with uh, progressive MS? No, except that uh, we found similar things with some of the uh, other treatments for MS, and it may relate to the extent um, of the disease, so that if enough nerves and axons were damaged over the course of many years, that, then it couldn't be improved or benefit from any form of therapy, and that the benefits really might occur early in the disease in which you can then protect the person against the changes occurring. But that, again, is a, that's a postulate. And having said that, even though so far we have not found um, substantial benefits, particularly for the primary progressive MS, with one exception, uh, it doesn't mean that it can't occur. And I'll give the other example. For a long time, it was thought that you could never reverse Parkinson's disease when it was very advanced. But in fact, that occurred in, in very advanced Parkinson's disease, in so-called idiopathic Parkinson's disease, when the, when the drugs were discovered for Parkinson's. So it is possible in what appears to be irreversible, the changes can still occur. Now, when I say that there's an exception, um, there is a new medication that was released in the United States within the past year, which is now being fast-tracked in Canada, that does show some benefit to some of the symptoms, in particular the walking in patients with primary progressive MS. So keep tuned for that one. Now, I'm just going to shorten up that bit just because we, we have to be careful of the, the time that we have for our national broadcast. Um, if, if Dr. Murray, if that's all right, if I go to the second sure. part of that question, which was concerning the iron in the brain, what kind of testing is available? It there? takes a very specialized form of MRI examination, which is not done with a normal machine, uh, to, to look at that. But there are, that research has been going on for some time around the world, looking at um, this, this question of iron in the brain. Uh, but the results that occurred in your sister occurred in almost half of the Buffalo studies. Um, so that's, that's a whole issue that requires further examination. All right. No, it has to be a research facility that has a specialized MRI that's, that's uh, designed and has the computer hardware to, and software to look for an iron deposit. And Ada was asking if that type of testing was done in Canada, and as far as you know, it is not. It's not available. I, I can't say whether it is or not. I don't know. Okay. Uh